a very good morning to all of you now today we will try to understand the need for demultiplexing now in the last video we have seen the special function register now in the special function register there are four types that is first one is the accumulator then second is the flag register third one is the program counter and fourth is the stack pointer you know that accumulator and the flag register they are 8 bit register it means they are made up of 8 flip flops whereas the program counter and the stack pointer they are 16 bit register it means they, made, they are made up of 16 flip flops now in this um, demultiplexing concept uh, you know that 8085 will be having 16 address lines now out of 16 address line A15 to A8 they are called higher order address bus whereas A7 to A0 they are called lower order address bus. Now A15 to A8 they are independent they are not dependent on any uh, bus whereas you can see that A7 to A0 and D7 to D0 they are multiplexed with each other means same lines are used for address and same lines are uh, used for a data also. Now to understand the problem of demultiplexing, let us have the schematic representation of it. Now in this schematic representation, 8085 is shown, then this is the RD bar. Now RD bar means what? That is the control signal. Now we will see this RD bar later in our uh, discussion. Now A15 to A8, uh, these are the higher order address bus and AD7, uh, 0 to AD7. They are multiplex address data bus that is multiplex address data bus. Now our aim is to read a data from the memory because there is an interaction between 8085 and the memory. So whatever what type of interaction they will be uh, performing either they will take the either 8085 will take the data or it will give the data. So when the 8085 is taking a data it means it is reading a data from the memory fine. And when it is giving a data, it means that 8085 will be writing a data. Now, in this case, 4F hex, 4F hex is stored in the address 2005 hex. Now, this data we want to fetch. Now, how you are going to fetch the data? So, what is our first step? So, uh, the first step in fetching a data is what? So, first you will have to go to that address and then you have to take that data from that address fine it means that you have to load the address of a data onto the address lines it means you have to load this address onto this a15 to a8 and ad0 to ad7 so initially what is going to happen this 20 will come in a15 to a8 and 05 will come in what AD, uh, 0 to 87 why because 20 is uh, more significant uh, bits and 05 is uh, they are lower significant bits fine now this a15 to a8 and ad 0 to 87 it means that we have loaded 2005 hex onto the address line now this address lines will be traveling from 8085 to memory fine now this location is accessed so once the location is accessed, what is the next step? This 8085 will provide what? RD bar equal to 0. Now this RD is what reading? Because uh, that 8085 have to read a data. So it will provide a signal that microprocessor wants to read a data from this location. So it will give RD bar as what? 0. Now RD bar is the active low signal. So when RD bar equal to 0, only then the reading operation will be performed. Otherwise not. When RD bar equals to 1, then no, oper no reading operation is going to perform in this uh, schematic representation. Fine. So, uh, so now RD bar equal to 0. Now this 4F uh, is going to load in this ad0 to ad7 because the same lines are used for address and the same lines we are using it for the data also so what is going to happen now this 4f hex will be loaded in this ad0 to ad7 so in that case what is happening so this 4f is overwriting your 05 means initially 05 was there because we want to access the location but now after uh, loading a data onto this ad0 to ad7 now this 05 will be overwritten by what 4f hex so in that case your address will be lost so this is the main problem 
uh, of the 8085 that is why uh, there is a need for the demultiplexing we want to demultiplex your address data bus now we want to demultiplex address data bus now how you are going to perform the demultiplexing in 8085 so for that uh, we will be using this 74373 IC now in 74373 IC there are 8 different flip flops because flip flop will store only one bit of information fine so in order to demultiplex 8 address lines so you have to use what 8 different flip flops now for the simple representation we have shown only one d flip flop now there is a distinct characteristics of the d flip flop and whatever you are giving at the input you will get the same at the output suppose if you are giving logic 0 at the input then you will receive logic 0 at the output similarly if you are giving logic 1 so logic 0 will appear here because q bar is there so fine so if logic 1 is there it means what 0 then there is a bubble so bubble will invert that logic so 0 means what you will receive 1 fine then if 0 is given then you will get 1 then uh, again at a7 you will get a 0 fine so d flip flop will be acting like a transparent flip flop it is just like your mirror now what is going to happen that uh, uh, this demultiplexing operation is divided into three clock cycle in the first clock cycle address is loaded onto the address lines and in the second and third clock cycle we are going to load our data onto the 87 to 80 zero so in that press uh, in the process your address should not get lost so in order to preserve our address we are taking the help of 74373 IC so what is going to happen so during the first clock cycle uh, clock cycle your ALE will be on ALE means what address latch enable so when ALE will be equals to 1 so address whatever address you are giving at the input of this IC it will get latched at the output so now in the second clock cycle even if you put a data onto this AD0 to AD7 then your address will not get lost because that is already preserved using what using 74373 IC so when ALE equals to 1 your address will be transferred at this uh, at this location fine it means that your address is now safe fine now in the second clock cycle uh, when you want to load the data that time you have to make ALE as 0 when ALE is 1 your output will be latched when ALE equals to 0 output will not be latched fine because you want to latch only address and we are loading address in the first clock cycle so that is why ALE equals to 1 uh, is there in the first clock cycle not in the second and the third clock cycle fine so uh, in this way you can demultiplex your address data bus so what is required to demultiplex the address data bus first ALE signal is uh, required ALE means what address latch enable because we want to latch your address so even if you load the data on uh, data in second and third clock cycle it will it is not going to affect your address so to preserve our address ALE is required in 8085 so this is the important pin in 8085 now this increment and decrement latch it is generally used to increment or decrement the contents which are there in the program counter or in the stack pointer now program counter and the stack pointer will st uh, is storing the 16 bit address so it will decrease or increase the address only fine now it will increase or decrease the address of the ram memory fine now next is address data buffer and the address buffer you know that uh, when you are loading address onto the address line and data onto the data lines uh, this address bus is not taking your address from 8085 to memory or your data is not um, or data bus is not uh, taking your data from memory to the 8085 so that bus will require some type of driver and that driver uh, so buffer will be playing the role of driver in 8085 so address buffer is there and address data buffer is there so this address buffer will be driving a15 to a8 bus 
and address data buffer will be driving AD, AD0 to AD7 bus. Why? Because AD0 to AD7 they are multiplex address data bus. Fine. Now next is temporary register. Now you know that uh, in 8085 there are six general purpose registers that is register B to register L and along with the general purpose register we are having one more register which is very important in 8085 and that is accumulator. So user can access accumulator as well as six general purpose register but it cannot access the temporary register because this uh, temporary registers are general are used only for the internal operation. So uh, let us say when you are going to perform the 16 bit addition and 16 bit subtraction. So that time this temporary register will come into a play. Fine. So this W and Z these are not accessible by the user. So these are accessible only by the 8085. So 8085 will temporarily store the data onto this register that is W and Z. 